Hey guys, this is Dan Bronstein, and I'm going to show you how I use Control Hub for mastering and mix bus. So I have this era session for the song Pale Iris. Right now I got nothing on my master, I got nothing on my subs. So I'm gonna play just a moment of this song here, the chorus. Okay, so I'm gonna throw Control Hub on the master and talk a little bit about self-mastering versus sending out your master versus mix bus and my take on it um traditionally i like to master my own stuff i think the line between mastering and mixing gets a little blurry when you're doing things yourself and doing it diy um people tend to put a lot of importance on getting your mix ready for the mastering engineer um I take a slightly different approach where I want my mix to sound pretty much how I want it to sound regardless of if someone's mastering it or not. Um, the mastering, if we have a mastering engineer, should just enhance what I already have. So I'm going to combine a mix bus and a master, um, which in my presets, that's how it is as well. So I got Control Hub loaded up on my master and what we're gonna be doing is using it to take the place of a mix bus compressor um, as well as a mastering limiter. Um, so let's pull that up. We have a few different ones and I'm actually gonna cycle through those just so we can hear the differences. Um, we have a few different genres here, mostly rock, but I also do have a pop rock master and mix bus, which we'll, we'll, hear, we'll hear all of them, even though this is metal. Maybe it'll work. So I, I'm going to go with the punchy rock master. Um, I think it just sounds really big and full. And I'm going to play around with the settings a little bit, uh, especially the limiter to get it to where it's not pumping too much and show you guys how easy it is just to rock that. So here we go. Sound pretty good. Let's keep listening. So that's sounding great to me. It's giving the track a ton of energy. It's giving you a nice pump, a nice glue, some good drive, like a nice little console sound. So let me go through the different modules and just turn them off so we can kind of see what each one is doing to the whole song really quick. So 
to me, the color and the dynamics are really the stars of the show here. Um, they're just bringing a ton of flavor and a ton of power to the mix, which I love. It's making it, turning it from something that's more sterile to something that has a ton of just vibrancy to it and this huge, nice, big, warm low end. The limiter's sounding great. Everything seems to be working in conjunction with each other really, really nice. And it was pretty easy for me to get there. So yeah, that's uh, that'll be my master and mix bus.